Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make an H-bridge inverter using Arduino. This inverter has a feedback system to stabilize the output voltages. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on check out securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels do subscribe them as well and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. This is the block diagram of the inverter. Arduino is the processing unit of this inverter. MOSFET driver is used to drive the MOSFETs. The MOSFET H-bridge converts the direct current into alternating current. Step-up transformer is used to step up the voltages. The feedback unit is consists of a rectifier and a voltage divider. The output voltage is given to the rectifier and then to the voltage divider and then to the ADC of Arduino. A switch is used to turn on and off the inverter. Now let's see the working of this H-bridge inverter. Four MOSFET Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 are connected. In H-bridge configuration, a step-up transformer is connected at the output of the H-bridge. 12 volt supply is given to the H-bridge. When we turn on the system, the MOSFET Q1 and Q4 turns on and current starts to flow through them and current starts to flow through the primary winding of the transformer. After that, the MOSFET Q1 and Q4 turns off and MOSFET Q2 and Q3 turns on and the current starts to flow in opposite direction through the primary winding of the transformer and after that, the MOSFET Q1 and Q3 turns off and the sequence repeats again and again. Now let's see the connections of this circuit. These are all the components I'm gonna use for this project. First, I'm gonna connect Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect an on off switch and connect its one pin to pin D8 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, connect a 12 volt battery and connect its positive terminal to V in pin of Arduino and its negative terminal to ground. After that, connect a 1000 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to positive supply and its negative pin to ground. After that, connect a 22K resistor and connect its one pin to V in pin of Arduino. After that, connect a 5K trim pot and connect its one side pin to remaining pin of 22K resistor and its center pin to A3 pin of Arduino and its other side pin to ground. After that, connect IRF Z44 MOSFET and connect its pin number 2 to V in pin of Arduino. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number one of the MOSFET and its other pin to pin number three of the MOSFET. After that, connect a PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number one to five volt pin of Arduino and its pin number three 
to pin number 1 of the MOSFET. After that, connect a 1K resistor and connect its 1 pin to D9 pin of Arduino and its other pin to pin 2 of the optocoupler. After that, connect 1N5819 diode and connect its anode to V in pin of Arduino and its cathode to pin number 4 of the optocoupler. After that, connect a 1 microfarad capacitor and connect its negative pin to pin number 3 of the MOSFET and its positive pin to pin number 4 of the optocoupler. After that, connect another MOSFET and connect its pin number 2 to pin number 3 of the first MOSFET and its pin number 3 to ground. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the MOSFET and its other pin to ground. After that, connect PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number 1 to pin number 2 of first optocoupler, its pin number 2 to ground, its pin number 3 to pin number 1 of the MOSFET and its pin number 4 to V in pin of Arduino. After that, connect another MOSFET and connect its pin number 2 to V in pin of Arduino. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the MOSFET and its other pin to pin number 3 of the MOSFET. After that, connect a PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number 1 to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its pin number 3 to pin number 1 of the MOSFET. After that, connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin D10 of Arduino and its other pin to pin number 2 of the optocoupler. After that, connect 1N5819 diode and connect its anode to V in pin of Arduino and its cathode to pin number 4 of the optocoupler. After that, connect a 1 microfarad capacitor and connect its negative pin to pin number 3 of the MOSFET and its positive pin to pin number 4 of the optocoupler. After that, connect another MOSFET and connect its pin number 2 to pin number 3 of the third MOSFET and its pin number 3 to ground. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the MOSFET and its other pin to pin number 3 of the MOSFET. After that, connect a PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number 1 to pin number 2 of the third optocoupler, its pin number 2 to ground, its pin number 3 to pin number 1 of the MOSFET and its pin number 4 to V in pin of Arduino. After that, connect a step up transformer and connect its one primary wire to pin number 3 of the first MOSFET and its other primary wire to pin number 3 of the third MOSFET. After that, connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to one secondary wire of the transformer, to one secondary wire of the transformer. After that, connect another diode and connect its cathode to anode of first diode and its anode to ground. After that, connect another diode and connect its cathode to first diode and its anode to second secondary wire of the transformer. After that, connect another diode and connect its cathode to third diode and its anode to ground. After that, connect a 220K 3 watt resistor and connect its one pin to cathode of first diode. After that, connect a 5K trim pot and connect its one pin to remaining pin of 220K resistor, its center pin to A1 pin of Arduino and its other side pin to ground. After that, connect MC34063 IC and connect its pin number 1, 7 and 8 to V in pin of Arduino and its pin number 4 to ground. After that, connect a 1 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to V in pin of Arduino and its other pin to pin number 6 of the IC. After that, connect a 1 nanofarad capacitor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of the IC and its other pin to ground. After that, connect 1N5819 diode and connect its cathode to pin number 2 of the IC and its anode to ground. After that, connect a 330 microhenry inductor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the IC and its other pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino. After that, connect a 470 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its negative pin to ground. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its other pin to pin 5 of the IC. After that, connect a 3.3K resistor 
and connect its one pin to pin 5 of the IC and its other pin to ground. So we have completed all the connections, now let's upload the code to Arduino and test this inverter. So that's it for today's video, I hope you have enjoyed this video, for more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.